everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm making loaded breakfast fries with a chorizo gravy. If you guys want to know how to make this, hit that subscribe button and watch me cook. The longest part of this whole entire meal is baking the fries. However you want to make them. You can fry them, air fry them, bake them like I'm going to do. Pick your favorite brand, whatever cut, it doesn't matter. Just follow your package on there and go ahead and cook that first. I have a newfound obsession with chorizo gravy, so you can make regular sausage gravy if you'd like, but this is how I'm doing it. Grab one package of your chorizo, go ahead and saute that in a saucepan, and then once that's cooked, add one cup of milk. I'm using 2%, but I don't think it really matters which milk it is, as long as it's milk and not like almond milk or coconut milk. Once your mixture has come to a boil, add one tablespoon of flour at a time. Once everything's nicely mixed, check your consistency, and if you're satisfied with it, make sure there's no other flour chunk, go ahead and add another tablespoon of flour, and again, mix this until everything is nice and smooth inside. Once you have that done, go ahead and set that on a low temperature and set it aside. All right, moving on to our eggs. Just grab your pan, and some vegetable oil, throw that on top, and notice that I am cracking my eggs slowly right into the pan. I'm trying to control how the egg spreads. I'm gonna show you on the last egg, and I did it intentionally, so don't think I just messed up, but I did um, crack the last egg really fast, and you can see how you're not gonna have any control over it, and it's just gonna go crazy at the end. Once you have your eggs placed where you want them, Grab a quarter cup of water, or about two tablespoons per egg of water, and we're just gonna place that right around the edges of the egg. Now, if you have a lid large enough to fit your pan, go ahead and use it to cover it up, but if you don't, do, do the same thing as I'm doing, and I'm always using aluminum foil to use as a lid because these pans I have are very large. While the eggs are finishing up, grab your plate and let's assemble. I've started with the fries on the bottom, the chorizo gravy right in the middle, I sprinkled some green onions on top, and look at that beautiful egg. This is absolutely delicious. You don't need to add any other seasonings to it because the gravy has all of that for you. If you guys like this recipe, please subscribe, and until the next meal, thank you for watching Watch Me Cook.